before Eleni Casas remains were found in the trunk of her girlfriend's car on the Dearborn Detroit border, police were called to their Tennessee apartment complex for a domestic dispute. This according to a Murfreesboro, Tennessee police report. It started out as an argument between Eleni Casa and Dominique Hardwick. At issue, a text message from another woman. According to the report, Hardwick stated that she pushed Casa and struck her in the face with her hand. Casa said Hardwick grabbed her by the neck and pushed her against the wall. The police report states Casa had difficulty breathing. Emergency responders advised her that she may have a broken jaw. Authorities charged Hardwick with one count of aggravated domestic assault. Fast forward to Sunday. Casa's remains found in Hardwick's trunk after the car crashed into a house on Tyreman and Normeal. She had gone missing from Murfreesboro, Tennessee on November 18th. In the driver's seat, Hardwick dead from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Law enforcement tells Fox 2 the couple had ties to Metro Detroit. Hardwick's Facebook page states she is from Pontiac. Meanwhile, there was another woman in the car at the time of the crash. There were three women inside the car that crashed into a home at Tyreman and Nomeal on the Dearborn Detroit border Sunday afternoon. While authorities aren't revealing the identities of the women, the family of 31-year-old Eleni Kassa are asking for privacy as they grieve. Kassa went missing on November 18th from Murfreesboro, Tennessee. It is believed her remains were found inside the trunk of the car that crashed. The 36-year-old woman driving the car died from a single gunshot wound to the head on the scene. Dearborn police officers exchanged gunfire with her after the crash, but right now it's unclear if she was killed by police or if she shot herself. Yes, we have somebody that ran from the police that's a suspect, um, but they're dead now and they have a family. There is a person that was found in the trunk that is dead that has a family. A third woman, a 34-year-old passenger in the car, injured in the crash, but alive. We need to know what role she plays in all of this. And how the three women were connected. We know that they do have some ties to, to Michigan. We're not going to go into a lot of details what those ties were. Medical examiners working to figure out how the woman in the trunk was killed. Police chase that started last night in Dearborn then ended in a shootout with police in Detroit. Officers then discovered a woman's body in the car's trunk. And tonight, state police have identified the remains as a missing mother out of Tennessee. Karen, this really was a horrible, violent ending for that 31-year-old Tennessee mother. We're told that her family that was desperate to find her, too heartbroken to speak tonight after learning it was, in fact, Eleni Casa, who was in the trunk of a car that crashed into this home just yesterday. Monday night, Michigan State Police confirmed the Casa family's worst fear. 31-year-old Eleni Casa, who went missing on November 18th, was dead. Her body discovered Sunday in the trunk of this mangled black charger. Investigators say Casa's girlfriend, 36-year-old Dominique Hardwick, was behind the wheel. Authorities in Tennessee had been looking for the charger and Casa. An exhaustive search in the week following her disappearance turned up nothing. The license plate to that charger later hit in Ohio, then in Oakland County, Michigan. Dearborn police spotted the car Sunday and attempted to stop it, but Hardwick took off, eventually crashing into this home at Normile and Tyreman in Detroit. Shots were fired soon after the crash, and state police say an autopsy determined Hardwick died at the scene from what appears to be a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Still so many questions tonight. Police in Murfreesboro say their investigation led them to believe that this was some sort of a domestic dispute, that the two got into an argument before both of them disappeared. But we still don't know how exactly Casa died or was killed here. That's something we're working and waiting to find out about. I should also mention there was another woman, a third woman, a passenger in that car. She was taken to the hospital. Police are questioning her in hopes of trying to make sense of all of this. But how do you really, when there is a little girl who will never see her mother again? Reporting live in Detroit, I'm Pamela Osborne. Now to breaking news from Detroit Dearborn border. That's where one person is dead after a chase ends in a crash and a shootout with police. 
This is happening in the area of Tyreman in Normile near Wyoming. Police also discovered a body inside of the trunk. Victor Williams joins us live with what we're learning about this investigation. And Victor, a lot of moving parts here. It's, it's tragedy. It's, it's a shame. Flashing lights on Tyreman and Normile mark the place where a Dearborn police chase results in a crash and officer involved shooting in Detroit, ultimately leading to one grisly discovery. It's a sad, sad thing with a body in a trunk. Sadly, it appears it's potentially the body of a missing woman found in the trunk after her alleged kidnapper had a shootout with police and was killed following the crash. As of now, the remains in the trunk have yet to be identified. Scott lives just a few doors down from where it all took place. It makes being a, a, a parent that much more difficult when you have these types of things you have to think of every day. The suspect along with the remains were found in this Dodge Charger that lost control and ran straight into this home on Normal, causing a lot of damage. The irony of all of that, I was trying to buy that house. And with other recent events happening in the area, people nearby like Nasser Saleh are on edge. I'm kind of scared because, you know, my kids walk into school and the school is down the street and I always like worried every time I hear a shooting, like I, I think about my family and kids. I don't want anything happen to them. Now, there was also a passenger inside of that vehicle that was also taken to the hospital, but you can expect this investigation to continue for quite some time as police officers as well as other in in investigative agencies look into this matter. This tonight surrounding the police chase turned officer involved shooting in Dearborn yesterday, including how it could be connected to a missing persons case out of Tennessee. A car crashed into a home near the Dearborn Detroit border. Gun fire was exchanged. The woman in the driver's seat was found shot to death, either by police or perhaps by herself. But another woman in the passenger seat was taken into custody. And in the trunk, police found the body of a third woman. Those remains may be linked to a missing persons case out of Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Megan Woods following this developing story. So much here to unravel. Megan. That's right, Devin. Right now, the biggest pieces of this puzzle are autopsy results. Everyone is waiting on the edge of their seat to find out what the medical examiner uh, office is going to see here, who this driver is. If that woman inside the trunk is 31 year old Alani Casa from Tennessee. To be the car that was wanted and have nobody in it that's actually affiliated with that case. Michigan State Police are investigating what led to this bizarre crime scene in Dearborn Sunday. And if the woman in the trunk is 31 year old Eleni Casa from Tennessee, she went missing November 17th after her family says she never picked up her daughter from school, which was nothing like her. Casa left her cell phone and car at her apartment. Family told Murphy Borough Police from the start they believe she was forced to leave by a friend. This is uh, a nightmare that we don't seem to wake up from. Police thought she might be in a black Dodge Charger that was last spotted in Ohio until yesterday. Dearborn police got an alert from Flock license reader that it was in the area and pulled over the driver. The driver pulled away. Um, as they pulled away, uh, Dearborn started to pursue them, um, lost sight of them, terminated their pursuit. MSP says shortly after officers found that same car up against this house. As the car was crashed up against the house, um, there was a shot fired uh, towards what the police thought was towards them. Um, they returned fire. That driver died from a gunshot wound and investigators are tracking down where it came from and more. Detectives are currently serving search warrants throughout that area. They're doing some evidence processing, things like that. MSP says they also recovered a nine millimeter pistol from that black charger. They're again waiting for these autopsies. They were scheduled today, and so we could have those results as soon as later tonight, but we just have to wait. And MSP is also um, talking to that third woman who was a passenger, hoping that they could give uh, more information about, you know, what happened here and if they're even involved. Back to you.